This is a combination printing example of using Batch and Print Premium Law Edition with a separate setup from another tray. I'm going to print these files here in a random order. So I'm going to drag and drop these files into the software first. I'm going to mix up the order a little bit so you end up with uh, TIFFs in between PDFs so you can see it printing correctly. Now if I scroll across you can see that the add-on parameters are set for the TIFFs because they're printed internally. Now with Batch and Print Premium and Law Edition, by default it will use um, Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat to print PDFs. If you go into File menu, PDF Print Settings, settings, you can see that the default settings are set like this. Now it will use, let's like say, Reader or Acrobat first. If that isn't installed, then it will print internally the PDFs. Now, if you say have other software like uh, Foxit for printing or Kodak PDF, then what you can do is just uncheck that button there and it will use whatever's associated in Windows to print PDFs. So you can use other software as well this way. But by default, you can just leave that set. You don't need to change anything. So to do the separator, file menu, printer setup. So I've got this printer set up to tray one here. So what I want to do is print the files on tray one and I want to print the separator on tray 2. So to do this, go into separator banner page setup, click generate separator file on the fly. So I'm click browse, I can go into the examples folder in the install folder, click tray 2. Now the name of the file has to match exactly the name of the tray. So let's say if it was cassette or bin or something like that, the file would have to be named that way. So it has to be exactly the same name. You can use a PRS file as well. If you look in the help, it shows you how to set that up. So you can set other settings as well that way. So what will happen with this, it will use this template file here and it will populate this file here and it will print on the tray or set there. So click save and exit. So that's all set up, ready to go. Click print. So that's going down the list of files now. If I click on the, um, the printer, you can see what's happening. The printer is paused, so you can see exactly what's waiting to print. Sort by submitted. So you can see here that it's printing the separator and then the TIFF file, which is at the top, and then the separator, then the next PDF file and then the separator and the TIFF file and so on down. So it should always be alternate. Now to check the settings, I can just right mouse properties, printing options, you can see it's set to tray two, which is a separator and the next file, which is the actual file, should be on tray one, which it is, and so on down the list. And that would only change the tray settings. Now, for troubleshooting, say if you, um, you stop it and you want to restart it, then make sure that the printer setup is set to tray one there before you start the print again. Also, if you have some random issues of the tray not setting, for example, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, if you go into option menus, general setup options, Click on Advanced tab. Now you can change the allowance to change here. So that gives it more time to actually change the setting on the printer before it actually prints the file. So for example, I'm going to set that to 20. Uh, pause seconds before each file can sometimes help as well. But in most cases, for, you know, for normal fast machines, you don't need to set these settings. But say if the machine that you're using is under heavy load, or it's using a network printer that's a long way away and it's, you know, it's generally slow, then setting these settings might help. So for example, I'm gonna set that to two. I click on print. So it's just giving it a bit more time to make sure the settings are set correctly. So that's tray two. So you can see it's pausing before it actually prints the print. 
So that's tray one, which is exactly what we want. And then next file we tray two again, and so on. So that's a quick example of how to print PDFs and TIFFs mixed with a separate setup and a little bit of troubleshooting for any issues. So that's now finished. Quickly launch this program here. You can see quickly all the tray settings there. So sorry, by submitted. So you can see that it's done everything correctly. These are files actually waiting to print on the printer, which is paused, and number of copies and things like that have been set. So this is exactly what we want. And that's it. Give it a try.